Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net. Thanks again for watching on uh, Tuesday the 8th of April. Um, just a reminder that we're kept completely free of charge by the adverts you see around the screen here when you come back and use the site and uh, you use the charts etc. That means we can put more adverts in front of you and that means that we can keep things free of charge. So thank you for doing that. Okay, just a quick look through uh, charts as they are at the moment then. 7 to 10 day mean of the 500 millibar flow. So this is from next Tuesday through to Friday the 18th. And as usual, ECMWF is uh, on the left here. We've got the GFS on the right. And uh, what this shows is the ridge building look in the West Atlantic on the ECMWF. But notice that trough across Europe. Notice the ridge on the GFS. Uh, the trough is further east. Interesting, though, both have got this strengthening jet look um, south of Greenland coming across the Atlantic. Now, what that's doing is it's uh, highlighting the fact that uh, we're finding most development uh, of uh, areas of low pressure, left exit region of that jet. So it's here and it's here. So what's tending to happen is it's steering those lows away from the UK back up here. So uh, actually what that's hinting at is the idea of cooler weather coming through, which is what the models are trying to suggest into uh, the weekend after next, and uh, go more into a northwesterly, which in turn will allow the ridge here in the Atlantic to try and build in. And then after that, we'll build a trough through into um, central and eastern parts of Europe, uh, probably into the following week to take us up to around about the 24th, 25th of April. And then we find a ridge basically building out towards the west. So I think the pattern is going to end up uh, probably looking something like uh, this. So we'll have the ridge out in the Atlantic. We will actually get the trough in through there and probably compensatory ridge developing across Scandinavia. So high pressure in here, high pressure in here and uh, low pressure through here, which brings a cooler northwesterly flow through much of the UK and Western Europe, although dry conditions there as well. What we then need to watch for is the ridge being cut off by troughs moving through uh, right at the end of the month um, into the beginning of May, perhaps bringing the possibility of stronger westerly winds and more unsettled conditions. This week, though, sees the area of high pressure down to the south building. That was it today with that westerly flow. All areas cooler today, a few showers around. But the high is still there through Wednesday. Look down to the southeast fronts moving through Scotland, taking some cloud and outbreaks of rain, but dry conditions to the south. Thursday shows a, a weak cold front coming southeastwards, bringing some spots of rain to northern England and Ireland. Most of it only light, but dry to the south and a uh, few showers across northern and western Scotland. Plenty of dry weather. And Thursday sees the high pressure as well, cold front clearing away southwards, maybe a few showers along the southern coast at first but they'll clear and then most places fine and dry through Friday, although bits and pieces of low cloud and drizzle affect in northern and western Scotland. Weekend not looking too bad either, the high holds on to the south fronts do try to come through and penetrate south eastwards taking cloud and some spots of rain with them but really not making much progress with many southern areas staying dry. And interestingly, this idea of the ridge keep on building back into the south of the country is one that plays through right through next week with a high building in, then collapsing away, and then we find another ridge building in. This is the chart for Monday the 21st of April, and you see this idea of the ridge building back in. Incidentally, the upper air pattern on this one will be something like that by uh, this stage. So I think what you'll tend to find happening is that these uh, northwesterlies just build into this trough all of the time uh, during the course of that week. And what that then does is it builds the ridge out here. That's where the trough is going to be. So low pressure in here, high pressure in here, high pressure in here. And then eventually we find the trough coming through. And what will happen is that trough kind of cuts through. And I think will tend to link up with the... Um, trough out towards the east and then I think what happens is that we then set up that pattern as I said for the end of May which is probably going to be something more like that a straight westerly flow perhaps bringing a more unsettled end to sorry end to April and early part of May but no real backing from that for the models just now I can just see that's the way this pattern evolves so there you go leave you with that for now whatever you're doing have a great day and keep the sun shining bye for now